Hello Queens! It is Queen of Queen She Me and I just wanted to jump right into this video really quickly because I just wanted to talk to you guys about my first week of cosmetology. Since I'm sitting here filming and I figured why not just briefly just go over the first week. So let's get into it. The first week started as of August 20th, 2018 and I have been just so elated i've just been so happy just been really excited you guys on this new journey because if you're not aware i am wanting to yes become a textured stylist yes cosmetologist so that is the plan that is the journey um i really and truly would love to become more so of an educator because it's pretty much what i'm doing presently here on youtube as well as my other platforms as well for the last three years and i have just really come to enjoy the process and actually seeing women actually embrace and love the journey of their natural hair and also to just learn the other healthy alternatives you know to actually incorporate into their present lifestyle Style, you know so that way you can actually flourish from the inside out and to see your hair to actually flourish too so that's really my my goal my passion my mission and like my purpose you guys and I have just been so happy and so the first week went like like it just went smooth like butter you guys it's about a total of about 20 of us i actually did share a small snippet of something that we did in class this week over on igtv and that's what i'm going to be doing for you guys you guys will be seeing more of the behind the scenes of my day-to-day -day, you know um coursework or classwork that we have to do because we have to have so many clock hours in order to actually complete the program as well as passing the uh, certification test as well at the end of the um, program. So that will be for me next year in the summertime. So I'm actually really, really excited because a lot of the coursework that we're presently going over is so familiar because with my current degree that I have, I have an AAS in Office Administration and Management and I love the sciences. I've always been into sciences and I'm shocked that I actually didn't even go into a form of science. Well, actually I was. I was going to go into psychology initially, so that is a form of science. But I really do like like earth science, like anatomy of the body, anatomy and physiology, even like psychology of like how the person's mind and the brain works. So I've always been into that and so like a lot of the the work that we have been going over just in the first week was just like so like exciting because naturally that's what I was drawn to anyways. So yes, I'm excited you guys. Um, the one thing that I didn't notice was the lack of inclusive when it comes to you know other ethnicities and their own hair and I understand that pretty much that this is just the basic we're just pretty much going through you know to learn how to actually provide services for pretty much any and everybody who will want them if you have just pretty much just regular hair in a sense regular hair like straight hair like how my hair is today is stretched is straight pretty much in a sense that's pretty much what a lot of the cosmetology schools I find cater to and I know a lot of you guys are probably like yes queen that's how it's always been but you would think now being that it's 2018 that a lot of these places would keep in mind of how a lot of of the things that are going on in today's you know culture and societies you know as far as like of course easily to say race you know or just you know legal rights equality rights you know and all those type of things so you would think naturally that when it comes to college and coursework and education that they would keep that in mind as well as being inclusive of all people but I found out very quickly that that is not the case um, because it was going over a lot of what was going to be coming in our kit for the semester. Each semester we get a new kit. Now, I just wanted to state that yes, this program was $2,000 just for the semester alone. Thank God that I had scholarships to cover for it. So. If you're going to go to college, which I will be doing a totally separate video on how to go into college and keys to success for college, um, definitely leave your questions and everything like that down below. But um, yes, you definitely want to go to school on free money. You don't want to pay out of pocket, you guys. Try to always use Pell, scholarships, anything. Anything free, try to use it. Don't do direct loans or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, you would think with the price point and then too with the, you know, requirements and everything that they would try to touch bases when it comes to wanting to cover all people's hair and, you know, and being able to provide a full service for that. But I have to remember too that natural hair is a specialty. 
you know and unfortunately you know that's what's been categorized as a specialty and i think you know it's not unfortunate but then it is fortunate because you know it just makes us you know in a sense a specialized group you know I mean it's a little bit more unique and we are unique because our hair is so versatile for one i feel and so that's what i really do enjoy about natural hair because you don't have to do a lot to it if you just let your hair naturally flourish and you know how to properly care for your hair it'll just do its own thing you won't really have to do much for it so um yeah that was just one thing that had really bothered me and again i knew some things would not be included throughout the semester but yeah so again we was going over the kit and what would be coming you know for us this coming week and um let me just be real half of my class we are natural and i was shocked and i'm actually one of the oldest students in my class which i'm not shocked about because um i am a returning graduate and so um for me you know it's just like okay cool i've been to school before it's the same scenario i just need to get the education i need to get my hands in you know and get that hand time in you know that muscle memory you know so i can learn and perfect the techniques and everything so then you know i can go out and provide services for you guys and people here locally where i live because where i live there is no natural hair salon not even in like a two hour three hour radius i don't even feel um if i'm because i've been doing a lot of research you guys because i'm looking for a natural hair school <laughs> so that way i can be learning more you know for our particular hair type and so yeah again we was going over the stuff for the kid and um we was talking about you know was we going to be talking about textured hair because again half the class we are natural and so um she pretty much said you know and she wasn't rude you know but it was just pretty much straight up you know like yes we are going to touch on it touch on it you know but um you know we're really not going to spend a lot of time on it you know but yet <laughs> half of the class are natural and we're here for natural hair <laughs> and yes we are going to get a natural hair mannequin but we're going to relax the mannequin because when we do finger waves it comes out better on that texture after it's been relaxed so I really didn't know how to feel about that. It, it struck me in a way where I was just kind of like, yeah, this just gives me even more drive to just keep fucking going. Because it's just like, even now, again, in 2018, <laughs> these colleges aren't making sure that people are going to learn other textures of hair outside of just bone straight hair and i mean there's nothing wrong with that i'm not trying to bash anybody else's hair outside of natural hair you would just think that they would be more conscientious of what they are actually going to be teaching people you know who have spent their hard-earned money or have worked their ass off to make sure that they could get that money to pay for the course because again i only see so many people every semester so i am grateful but this just makes me understand and realize even more at that you know being black and being in America, you know, we're still having to fight for a lot of things. And that's okay, you know, because I think that's just what makes us even more unique because nothing keeps us down long. <laughs> so you can throw anything at us and we're just going to be like, okay, well, whatever. You might have did that, but you know what? We're going to bounce back 10 times harder on your ass. So that's really and truly how I feel about it. So it just really just just spark my fire even more, like my passion for, you know, you guys in the natural hair community because... For me, you guys know, natural hair is not just about the natural hair and putting the products on the hair and trying to get the hair to style a certain way. No, it's really and truly just being able to sit down with yourself and to actually look at who you are and to see what you have and to appreciate that and to understand that if you don't love what's coming from the inside, it's not going to show on the outside. So you can take as many hair vitamins and all this other kind of crap if you want, but if you're not right on a spiritual level or a mental level or even on a physical level with your you know your lifestyle and your health yeah it's going to show in your hair and no matter how much product you put on your hair it's not going to turn out the way that you want because you're not taking care of you so that's my whole purpose and that's my whole focus and i was actually able to find a textbook for you guys ironically enough from the same textbook that we're using for this program so let me show you guys hold on so again, like I told you guys, it's called doing your research because I find 
and I hate to say it, that yes, in the African American community, we do not like to pick up a book and read. Yes, we need to pick up a book and read sometimes. Like, pick up a book and read. Pick up a book and read. <laughs> so, this is the book that I found at my local library here. Yes, where I live. And this is the Melody Standard Natural Hair Care and braiding book now again we're using the same textbook from Melody. it just says Melody, and that's it that's all it is it's just a cosmetology book but it's from the same people okay so what i love about this book you guys is that it goes in depth it talks about the history and the career opportunities you know in the natural hair industry and it talks about you know the origins of hair and like braiding it talks about africa it talks about southeast africa i mean southwest africa i'm sorry it even talks about slavery the pre-slavery and post-slavery it talks about madam cj walker um and madam cj walker i love i've always been um interested in her story and her uh, philanthropy and just her being an entrepreneur and being a black female billionaire <laughs> come on back in her day that was that was way ahead of her time okay so hats off to her and then it talks about the jim crow era it just talks about the civil rights it just talks about how natural hair has you know just revolutionized over time how you know we was embracing it and then of course you know we was taught to be ashamed of what we are and to not own our own natural roots and what was god given to us and then how we started to fight and, and take that back and to just really embrace it and how now that people have just really just just really have just taken it as their own so that is what i love about this book and it's just funny because this is by the same author that we're using for my daytime classes so yes i am doing my own research i'm teaching myself and trying to educate myself in the best way that i can again i am looking for a natural hair school and it is it is some schools that i found that have provided you know online courses but i find too that not every state provides a natural hair license so that's the new thing that i'm learning as well you guys now i know up north they do have one i believe in new york and new jersey they do do that for you guys but they don't do that down here my favorite part that i have read so far in this book and it says create a client experience that nurtures the whole self that is so important to me because I honestly feel that that is the only way that my hair has flourished and that's the only way I know how to continue to keep my hair flourishing. It's not necessarily the products that I'm using on my hair. Yes, they do help with make sure that I am able to keep the length of my hair to help with keeping moisture and to help with keeping it strong where it may be weak in other places and all the all that other kind of stuff. But natural hair really is about looking at the whole self you have to look at your whole self and see what it is that's keeping your hair and your crown from flourishing and so it states here you differentiate your salon from other conventional salons by offering specialized hair services and by providing an intimate hair experience and environment that will replenish the entire being Good examples of this experience are the spa type hair salons. From the moment the clients enter the salon, the soothing aromatic environment reflects beauty and wellness. Doesn't that sound beautiful, y'all? <laughs> and relaxing, like who wouldn't want to feel that way all the time from the inside out, just on a regular day-to-day -day basis? Like, yes, it is possible. It also states here that providing the client with filtered water or cool slices of fresh fruit or other opportunities to introduce the client to a natural hair salon experience. The spa environment for a natural hair salon is the perfect setting for the client to remove those daily stressors, relax, and be nurtured. And for me, it really is when I do my natural hair, I will not do it when I'm tired. I will not do it when I'm busy or having to be rushed somewhere. I will wait until I can take my time to do my hair because that's my me time. That is my ritual to myself to check in with me and to just give my hair that TLC. And in turn, I'm checking in with my spirit and my mental self. A lot of times I'm praying in the shower or I'm meditating. I'll have my incense burning, sage going, or, you know, candles. And I just have some music going. Sometimes I have some meditative music going. It really is about setting that tone and that environment for yourself to be able to thrive. So I'm excited.
excited you guys i am just truly blessed i just thank god for this opportunity and i just thank you guys so much for just being a part of my journey for just continuing to encourage me throughout the years while being here as a youtuber and just being a little low natural hair influence to you guys because you know i don't take it lightly that you guys you know come to me for advice and tips you know and to just take the time out to even sit and to watch the content that i put out for you guys because I really do take into consideration what I want to bring to you guys because I want it to be of value. I want it to be something where you guys will return to rewatch it, you know, to pass along to others who may need help as well, who may be struggling on their natural hair journey or in other places of their life, you know, when it comes to just lifestyle, period. Um, again, I do have a short video over on IGTV, so definitely just check that out. You can go to my Instagram account, and then you'll see the IGTV logo, you know, over to the left, and then you just tap on that, and then you can see all my other videos over there as well. But I'm excited about this journey. I understand that there is a need and a want and just, you know, something that we all deserve to have because, again, there are natural hair salons present in other parts of the countries, you know, or people who do specialize in natural hair but for natural hair salons period it's very few in the between just to just be a strictly natural hair salon and even just natural hair education schools as well like there's a lack in that as well so i'm appreciative of those who are already starting to just be the milestones you know and just to already have content to help those who are like myself who are wanting to be a part of this you know change and just being able to educate you know women of color african-american women and even people who you know are you know biracial as well because they have multi you know textured hair you know and they have to deal with kinky curly stuff too so you know it's not just us it's a lot of other people out there as well who struggle with their natural hair and wish that they can just take care of it but they don't know how because they're trying to find the education and yes videos are fine and yes looking online is fine but a lot of times you want to go somewhere and get your hands and get that hands on honey and I want to be a part of that so I'm excited and I just really feel that I'm going to just continue to be a blessing for you guys and I just want you guys to just continue to just keep asking me questions just keep sticking with me and I'm going to try to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible and look of course my camera's facing the die so you guys I will keep you guys updated as stuff progresses throughout the program because this is a three semester program so pretty much a year and so we're gonna have quite some footage and some time to see some growth and some change and some development okay so thank you guys so much for hanging in for tuning in with me today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye queens Mwah.